Uh, there are several bones forming the skull and uh, they are united at fibrous joints uh, found at the sutures. You know there are different sutures like the sagittal suture, coronal suture, lambdoid suture um, and, and so on. And uh, the bones uh, can be uh, considered in two groups. Bones that form the skull can be considered in two, two groups, cranial uh, bones, the bones that form the cranium, and the bones that form the, uh, the, the face, cranial bones and uh, facial bones. Some of these bones are paired, some others are single, uh, and many of the most of these bones are formed by membranous ossification. Now, when, we, when you study the long bones of the body, you learn that they undergo endochondral uh, ossification. But here, uh, the, the skull bones are formed, most of them are formed by membranous ossification. So this is how you um, list the bones. Um, the cranial bones, uh, you have a frontal bone here, then you have two parietal bones, left and right, then you have uh, one occipital bone, then two temporal bones, left side and right side, then there is one sphenoid bone you can see the sphenoid here okay there's one sphenoid bone you can only see a small part of the sphenoid bone on either side to see it clearly either you have to uh, look uh, inside the the cranium or you have to look uh, at an inferior view of the uh, skull then the ethmoid bone again to see that you have to uh, have an inter internal interior view so you see the sphenoid the, the there are two wings, there's a greater wing and a lesser wing of sphenoid. Uh, then you have the ethmoid bone here. So these are, even though this is large, it is taken as a single uh, bone in yellow color. So you can see the other bones also in this view. You see the frontal bone here, occipital bone, the two parietal bones on either side, and the, uh, the two temporal uh, bones with its different parts like uterus part and the squamous. Uh, part you have learned all these things by now I think then when it comes to the uh, the bones contributing to form the facial skeleton you have two zygomatic bones on either side then you have two maxillae on either side these are zygomatic two maxillae on either side then you have two nasal bones then two lacrimal bones, it's not shown here. Lacrimal bone is somewhere here. I'll show you. Okay, so this is lacrimal bone in green color here. Then there is a bone called Voma, which is attached to the hard palate. And uh, the, the two palatine bones, you have one here and another one there. It's not very clear in this view. If you look at the look inside here, you will, uh, if you open the mouth and see, you will see the hard palate in two halves. <clears throat> then uh, this inferior uh, concha, inferior concha, two inferior concha, this is, uh, this contributes to form the lateral wall of the nasal cavity. You will learn that when you do the paranasal sinuses and the nasal cavity. Now you can see one here, another one there, uh, and there's this middle, concave also but they are not separate bones they are part of the ethmoid bone that is this one okay so the, the inferior concave are taken as uh, two separate bones then you have the mandible here okay. so these are the bones that form the facial skeleton uh, 